problem with pickerel is that they're basically killing machines. They're really good at what they do. They're built to ambush, uh, you know, anything they can get in their mouth, really. You know, they're super slimy. They've got crazy sharp teeth. Nothing that people here have seen until a pickerel. You know, tr trout aren't really very dangerous. There's nothing on a trout that's gonna hurt you, but there's a lot of things on a pickerel that can get you. Twenty-five years ago, this lake was just the mecca for trout, that it was filled with trout. Two thousand four, the first pickerel was reported in this lake. And uh, I guess three years after uh, they were reported, apparently there was not a trout left in the lake. Here he comes. Oh, another fish here. No! I don't know what happened there. Something happened bad. Broke. Something broke. <laughs> that fish on that lily pad. I miss him almost every time I come up here. This is my fifth year living here. Just the amount of time I've been fishing it, I mean, it, it's always been filled with pickerel. There's, I, I really haven't caught much else besides pickerel and smallmouth bass in here. Get out, I know what you're doing. From what I'm told, they, they came in from uh, another lake down the way that's connected through a river system. This is kind of the end of the line from them. They can't really go uh, much farther than this. There's one other system they can get into and um, from what I've been told, they've been in here around 25 years. I think there's varying opinion on pickerel from what I've seen and, and heard. There's one side that thinks there's no releasing them, you know, it's kind of a catch and kill, protect the native species, and I get that side, I, I, I understand that side. But I think there's another side that feels like they're here to stay, um, you know, we might as well get used to it. Let's stop the spread, but you're really not gonna get them out of the system once they're in there. And then I think there may even be a third side that kind of prefers the pickerel. I think there may be some people getting into fishing that find uh, targeting trout pretty difficult. It can be difficult here, where you can go to a lake and, and easily catch pickerel. So I think some people prefer the pickerel, and unfortunately, I think it's some of those people that are spreading them from lake to lake. I think once they're in a system, unfortunately, it's sad to say, I just don't think you're gonna get them out of there. So I hate them for that reason. Uh, I grew up fishing trout in Cape Breton. That's all I fished. I didn't even know what a pickerel was until I came up on the mainland here. So I do hate hearing about them spreading. I hate seeing the damage they're doing. But on the flip side of that, you know, in those dog days of summer, months when rivers are low and temps are kind of high and you don't really want to target trout or the trout bite is off, um, they're a pretty fun alternative. You know, having big pickerel just smashing topwater baits and charging out of heavy cover, I like them for that reason. I, I think there's a good opportunity here for um, a lot of us fly fishermen too. I mean, they're super fun on a fly. They're gonna hit those flies in a way that, you know, a lot of other species around here won't.
If I was going to keep anything, it'd be a pickerel. I think a lot of people are put off by the fact that they have Y bones like a pike. I don't think a lot of people know how to take the Y bones out, but it's really not that difficult. I think everyone should at least try them. You know, I cook them for the family. Uh, they're great eating fish, and uh, there's plenty of them, and they're easy to catch. How do I feel about the whole situation? Um, I've got kind of a love-hate relationship uh, with pickerel, I guess you could say. If I could snap my fingers and make them all go away, I would. 